Okay, today's review is of Edward's limited edition dual combo Hind or the MI24. Now it's in 170 seconds, so it's quite small, but then it is a big aircraft anyway. So it's in all the Czech, it's in Czech Republic colours, and I've been told it's a fantastic kit. I've seen a few built, Mick Burr's built one, and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't build helicopters very often, but I'm going to make a build out of this. So here we go. Now, straight away, we've got beautiful um, artwork as usual from Edouard. Um, try to read the name of the the uh, the artist, Catania Barocha, I believe. Don't quote me on that, I don't know for certain. But anyway, beautiful artwork. Um, and it looks great. Now, this is the big thing about Edar's limited edition stuff. There are 14 different sets of decals for this, and we also get a car, which is fantastic. So there's some beautiful markings from standard camo patterns to tiger meats in Fairford, absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, your item number or your kit number is 2116. And what we'll do is we'll get straight into it and see what we got. Okay, so first of all, we've got a box in a box. Not sure. Oh, there's a book underneath here which could have fit in the bottom there, but then you can see this is absolutely full of plastic. So let's put this out of the way for the moment and get everything sorted right the book absolutely gorgeous now I will have a look just to see if we are in English or it is in Czechoslovakian since I find the trusty razor blade we'll have a quick butchers Do it like that, that way you don't hurt the book. Oh, excuse me. Right, now let's see. So it is in Czechoslovakia, but I'm not sure how well you'll pick this up. My lights and things are a little bit, give me a little bit of a, a brightness. Um, there are some wonderful photos in here giving you so much references you won't need anything else but this for references and also full size photographs which is absolutely beautiful job as I said it is in Czech now I read English I don't read Czech I should do or not should do but I could do in time I guess but there is so much in this book, it is absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic thing, well done everyone. Right, so straight into the... to the issue. Okay, so we're straight into the instruction manual. Beautiful artwork, same artwork as on the front of the box. And we got the sprue call outs to begin with. There's peeps as we won't use. Uh, in blue, so there's one or two bits we won't use. Photo etch color, color photo etch, plain photo etch by the looks of it. Brazin, which is always beautiful. Colors by Guns, but we'll be using our clad anyway. Um, straight into the build, so we start with the seats. We have the rear, this is the rear seat, and the forward seat, all going in into the cockpit tub. Looks a bit plain Jane on here, but we know with that Eddard stuff that's going to really, that photo wedge is really going to pop. It's a bit more at the back of the cockpit. Going into putting the instrument bits down, looking absolutely superb. Lots of, might show you watch what version you're doing, because there's lots in here. 
goes up to O. So, you know, there's loads of different versions you can do. So keep an eye on these. Into the gearbox, the top of the helicopter. Sorry, I don't know all the names. I'm not okay with helicopters. Gearbox and the top going in. One of the the firewalls going through. The engines being made. Jet engines. Two of inside. This is all PE. There, I can't see any plastic there whatsoever. So it's all PE for the the little seats that go in the rear of the helicopter. Glazing going in. Uh, windows and what have you going through on the sides. Fr uh, underneath with the, the IR, IFR system going down. Helicopter parts sides coming together. More for the front of the cockpit and the instrument panels going together. Again, look at all these. All different ones going in. All different parts, lumps and bumps going on. Different bits being put together. This obviously carries a lot of weaponry. So you've got your pylons under wing pylons going on with your wings going in there. Look like they've got a nice secure position to go into. Again, more photo etch. This is all photo etch again, this kit, which is fantastic. Little buckets going on, I presume they're chaff buckets, things like that going together. Then you got to weaponries going down, machine guns, or sorry, rockets and gun pods. Loads more photo etch. Again, that's where the loadout is all called here. Bits and pieces there for it. You can have open canopy doors or closed canopy doors. Another good touch coming through. All lumps and bumps going on. Engine can be open so you can see all the engine. Blades going together, forming the, your rotors. Both of those going on. Again, with photo etch involved on the aerials on the rear. You've got the little Velorex car. This is a page in itself just for the car going together. Looking fantastic, and then your paint scheme with your decals again for the Velorex, looking absolutely amazing. You've got a mask set for everything again, including the car, another lovely touch. And then we come up with those glorious markings. So we've got, I'm not going to pronounce them, I don't think, unless I can, but I doubt it. 14 different markings in this. So we start off at A, which is an MI24D, they're all 24Ds. You've got a Tiger Meat here. You've got a little bit of a darker camouflage on there. This is the MI24V. The MI35 looks a little bit like, um, what do you call that, the coast, Coastal Command sort of colours, looking great. Fairford for Ria in 2015. We've got Bratislava MI24V. You've got the MI24V again from 1993. You've got the NATO Tiger Meat Cambrai May 14th 2011. It's a beautiful tiger on that. That's the one I'd like to do. You get Air Expeditionary Advisory Squadron in Kabul in 2009. You've got a 24V again, the Mini Tiger Meat in Brogal, September 798. Back again, you've got the, the V, the D, beautiful sand colours. Another V, another D. Again, Rear Fairford 1995, another Tiger Meat. And then last of all, you have, don't ask me to pronounce that. 2002 it's an MI24V you've got your stenciling obviously this is a Russian helicopter so lots of stencils to go on even more stencils here and on this one obviously there's different ones for the V and the D and more for the V at the rear so that's the instructions looking fantastic now my belief is each one of these has a helicopter in it the whole one so we'll only open one of these. Okay. Right. So we'll put 
these to one side. Right. Now, I don't think I've ever looked at a Svesta kit before in my life, so this is all new to me. Right. First thing off the bat. The... Panel lines are very, very, very fine. And there you go, it says Vesta there. Very, very fine. The way it's onto the tree is very, very good. There's a little tiny weeny bit of flash there, but that's, that'll come off with a couple of swatches of sand and stick. The parts are connected to the tree itself with very small parts, which make life a lot easier to get off and to clean up. So that's nice. It's quite a malleable plastic and it does look very, very nice. So I don't know how well the camera will pick that up. I don't know if you're about to see the, the panel lines there. There's not many of them, which I'm surprised about being a, a, a uh, Russian helicopter. And also, there seems to be devoid of rivets, which, knowing this, it's probably built like a tank and rivets everywhere. But we'll have to do a look at our research pictures to have a look. You've got pilots, little characters, fantastic. Little bits for the engine. They're small, but they're detailed, fairly detailed for all we'll need for this sort of size of kit. Bulkheads look good. No major issues with any of the uh, ejector pins. They're all simply out of the way if they're on a piece. If not, they've been put around to the side. And they're all flush, so that's nice. So yeah, that's a nice piece. And then we come to the next big sprue. Which is your blades and your rear prop. Again, looking very, very nice. Very, very nice sharp panel lines. No, there won't be real rivets on these. That's fine. Nice head to the blades. Looking good again. Looking around. It actually says here's Vesta 2010. So I presume this is when this kit was produced. Your pot wings for your store, outer storages. Looking good. There is little bits of flash, but nothing you'd worry about. Looking absolutely glorious. And again, all, all the ejector pin marks are out of the way. I've been done nicely. Again, brilliant job. Next one. We come in for the other side of the, the helicopter and fuselage. Very, very nicely done. It's quite a... I don't hear that, but it's quite a rough, it's not a super smooth one, but then again the helicopter was sort of wasn't super smooth. The engines, beautiful job, they'll look up, come nicely with a wash. Insides, look again, looking fantastic. There's your gearbox, again very neatly done and very well packaged. Nice. Now we've got a small arms, so we've got the chin. Now, forget that. Don't get me wrong, it's a lovely looking chin. But we have a resin replacement. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Parts of the engine housing and some of the guns looking good. Very little flash on parts that are going to be a problem. That's the main thing. Now, I'm going to leave that there for a moment. And we'll just find up there. We have resin. Now, there's the difference. I would imagine that this is the D and this is the V. And there is a heck of a lot of difference in detail from what the plastic version is to the resin. So that's a lovely added bonus to have. 
we'll put that away while we got this out we'll just have a quick look in here so we've got some of the smaller parts you've got the chaff dispensers and they are hollow I really don't know if you better pick that out on camera but they are hollow and they look amazing so that's a good job there not sure again what these are but they're all very very crisply moulded end of the guns looking absolutely fantastic so the resin is superb as per usual when it comes to brazen so we get these in here without losing everything as I said this kit isn't mine so this kit will be going to Mick Burr to build which I know he loved doing the last one so he can do this one if he so wishes so we'll put that just to safely to one side now okay glazing it doesn't seem to be a great deal of it to be honest just have a look at the helicopter but there isn't on the actual helicopter itself so let's have a quick nip at this it feels very soft this plastic softer than I've ever used before but these clear parts some of it's a little bit grainy but nothing we worry about a dip in aqua gloss and that will come out looking lovely but there's no flaws and it's absolutely gin clear there's no wobbles in the lines nothing like that it's a good part what I mean about it being soft look at that but then I said I've not built the Zvezda before so at some point we shall have a go with the kit and give it a go. I'm just going to put these in here, keep them safe for Mick. I'm sure he'll want to build those at some time. I'll right, keep that to one side. So the next up is photo wedge and lots of it. So we've got the Hydra plan, which are just bits and pieces extra to go on. Now this will be for the the little car. So you've got photo wedge for the car, including numbered number plates, which is a beautiful little add-on. We've got instrument panel in the favorite turquoise blue now this is for the it says dv and this is just a black instrument panel so they're basically the same sort of thing but just in different colors with seat belts on there everything looking really really good all the harnesses then we have just an ordinary brass one well there is actually two and as usual, Eddard's brass and or brass foot wedge is the best. So that's fantastic. And then we should have right. We now have a massive, massive great. Well, there's more than one decor sheet. So what we'll do is we'll put that on and then find a way to get in here. Just at the top. I've just seen who they're printed by. And it's printed by Cartograph. Mm. 
So we've got we've got two decal sheets. We have two decal sheets, and they're both printed by Cartograph. And when you look at these sheets, you wonder why Tamaya, why Airfix. Although Airfix, I know I start to use Cartograph, but why? Why use anything else but? Why can't you all be as good as these? There is very, very limited carrier fill. Everything is in register. The whole of the, well, it's full. You can see the colors are very, very bright. It looks absolutely amazing. Can't see if you can see the blurb on the, and the writing on these is actual writing. It's not blurb. It works. It'll be good. Incredible. And then you have the decals for the little car. These are actually printed by it out themselves by the looks of it. But again, still very, very good. Right, we now have the cockpit tub. I missed that, don't know how. But we have the cockpit tub on the inside of the thing. It looks, with the side of the helicopter, it looks very, very good. Very, very nice. There is no flash to worry about. We should go together really, really well. Looking really, really nice. Looks good to me. And of course, you've got the little car. I shan't get it out. There's, mind you, there's about 30 bits of the car. So, quite a lovely little kit. So, that's your Ed, that's your Eddard Hind limited edition dual combo M I twenty four in one seventy second, and I think that's a great little kit, well worth getting. Thanks for watching.